In this video, we are going through the basic configuration of the ZLX24M control board, which you can manage a variety of swim gate operators. One thing you can do first is to test the motors, which can be done in the function A2. To enter the menu system, press enter and use the arrow buttons to navigate the menu until you get to the A2 function and press enter. In this mode, if you hold the left arrow, the motor number one is going to move in the opening direction. And if you hold the right arrow, the motor number two should open. If any of the motors are moving in the closing direction, follow the steps in the operator's manual to reverse the opening direction. The next step is to set the type of motor that you're going to use. So press enter and use the left arrow to get to the option called A1. And press enter. Using the arrow buttons, you can select between a sequence of numbers that represent the motors shown in the menu. In my case, I have an AXO, so I'll select 9. And press enter to confirm. Then we need to go to F46 to select the number of motors that we have connected. By default, it's set to control two operators, but in my case, I only have one, so I'll select that and press enter. Now we're ready to do a trouble calibration, so go to A3 and press enter. Then use the arrows until it says on and press enter. It will start the calibration procedure by closing and then opening. After the calibration is over, you can test everything by pressing the left arrow to open and the right arrow to close. Keep in mind that you can only do this while the board is not in the menu system. If you're going to program a remote control, make sure to install the AF card in the control board. Just remember to remove the power before installing the AF card. To program a remote control, go to U1 and press enter. Select the type of command you want and press enter. Then a number is going to blink indicating that it's ready to receive the signal from the remote control. So press the button you wish to program. That signal is going to be stored in the user number that was blinking before. Now it's blinking the number 2 because it's ready to receive another signal and it's going to be stored in the user number 2. On this board we can store up to 250 users. If you connect a safety device like a photocell, the normally closed contact should be connected between pin 2 and CX. To enable it, go to F2 and select the corresponding behavior you want to execute when the photocell detects an obstruction. For example, this photocell is in the path of the driveway, so I'm going to select C1, that it will reopen the gate while closing. You can connect another safety device in the pin CY and assign the function in F3. If you want to enable auto closing, you can do that in F19. Choosing the number of seconds you want the gate to stay open before closing automatically. One setting that you might want to change is the speed of the gate. That by default it comes at 70%. To do that, go to F28 for motor number 1 and F29 for motor number 2. To send a command using an external device, like a push button, you can use pins 2 and 7 as a normally open contact, and select the function you want in F7. Also the pins 2 and 3 can be used to send an open command. And pin 4 is for a closing command. There are so many other options and features that you can explore in the manual, so I invite you to check it out. Link in the description. 
I hope it was helpful and thank you for choosing Kame for your automation solution.